With a top speed of 70 kilometers an hour, Makos are considered the fastest sharks in the Atlantic Ocean, swimming long distances well offshore to catch their prey. But the Makos themselves are a popular target for their meat and their fins, especially in parts of Europe. They've just been overfished for years now, and there's been no limits at all on how many you can catch. For years, Nova Scotia's Ecology Action Centre lobbied in vain at this international conference to protect the endangered shortfin mako. In November, the 52 countries at the Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas agreed with science indicating if harvesters keep fishing the sharks, they could become extinct. It's consensus based, so if one party doesn't agree, that's it. Like the whole thing goes out the window. And so for some years, the US and the European Union blocked the protection. The ban prevents harvesters from fishing or keeping makos, even those that are already dead landed as bycatch on boats that are looking for other fish. To some fishers, the ban goes too far. We're opposed to regulatory dead discards. It's a bad practice, okay? You've already killed it, you're now wasting it. Before the international ban, the federal government had already imposed one in Canadian waters, becoming a champion for shark conservation. We've seen this big shift over the last like five years or so uh, with Makos and with other sharks and slowly putting things in place. The international restrictions are only temporary. They could be overturned by pressure from commercial harvesters suggesting the Makos are not in the clear just yet. Ross Lord, Global News.